what am I doing? I don't know how I've got here or why I've been allowed, but um, <laughs> yeah, that was quite absurd. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Uh, to meet you. Really excited to bring this film to the big screen. Uh, so first question, lots of little girls dream of becoming a princess one day. Did you ever think you were going to end up being a prince? Absolutely not. No, 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 no way. Not in a million years. No? no. But were you excited about the prospect of, of kind of trying it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think, I think it's something that not a lot of people get to do. And um, I, I definitely didn't expect to be... Um, a Disney prince, so it's it's nice to sort of foray into that world and, and, and get to sort of romance that desire, yeah. Five years ago, I thought I lost you forever. There is no curse that could ever tear me away from you. Will you marry me? Yes! And for research, did you kind of re-watch Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty or any other Disney films? I didn't. I obviously, like, Disney films were sort of on repeat in my childhood, but I, I didn't um, re-watch the original because I think that when 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 you do a when you sort of expand on a world, um, I think it's important to try and bring something fresh to it as well, you know. And, and the script was so um, dense with information about the characters, and once we got in, uh, into it, you know, there was there was so much that I was able to get from uh, Joachim, our director, and 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 from uh, Angelina, you know, so um, it was just, I just sort of approached it from that way and, and I feel like that was probably the best way to go into it. Mistress, I have a little bit of news. Don't ruin my morning. And obviously there's lot, there must have been lots of really interesting sort of sets and costumes and different makeup things going on on set. What was the strangest and most surreal sort of moments where you were like, what is going on here? <laughs> um, I mean, there was, I, on one of my last days or one of my later days, I, I had to stand up and address a crowd of maybe 300, 400 people you know, and, pe and it was one of the hottest days in London. It was like, there was people on horses, there was people in full armor, people were sweating. I had an open shirt, so I was all right. <laughs> um, but I just remember being like, uh, standing up on this sort of podium and having to like address people. And I was just, I, was, I sort of froze for a minute. And in my head, I was like, what What am I doing? Like, where am I? How have I, and, you know, Angelina was there and Michelle was there. and. They're all looking at me, waiting for me to sort of uh, um, give this speech. And I was just like, what am I doing? I don't know how I've got here or why I've been allowed. But um, <laughs> yeah, that was quite absurd. Yeah. Tonight, I consider Aurora my own. There is no union. There will be no wedding. And the film Thank have a lot of really powerful messages of like inclusion and, and diversity and kind of working together. Yeah. Um, but what to you personally, sort of what do you hope that audiences will take away when they leave the cinema after watching the film? Well, what, you know, what I think is great about this film and films alike is that you're able to tell a fun sort of story and within that you can embed these really important themes, you know, that aren't sort of overbearing or or false, you know, they're really at the core of it is a really sort of true story and, and true heart. So for me when I watched it I got I got this sense of um you know the importance of, of, of taking care of our planet and our, and our, and not draining our natural resources, you know, and I think the film sort of <clears throat> encapsulated that quite well. One can never be too careful. In the film, there's lots of really epic scenes, and actually we're showing the film in lots of different ways it's in the world. So we've got IMAX, 4DX, and ScreenX. Yeah. Um, so are you so aware of the different formats? Um, sort of, yeah, right. sort of. I'm not, what were the last two? Uh, so 4DX, you've got moving 4DX, seats. 4DX, I know 4DX. Yeah, and the then ScreenX is a 270 degree screen. So you've wow. got the screen in the front and then two on the side. Wow. So you kind of get extended views of different sort of parts of the film. Um, so which scenes do you think, without giving any spoilers away, do you think could be quite epic in sort of all the different ways of seeing it? Um, 
some, some battle scenes, maybe some flying scenes, that sort of opens up the world a lot. But um, like that, we, we was at IMAX last night for the premiere and, and seeing my face that big was just, just too much for me, <laughs> too much. Well, we all enjoy it, so thank you so much for your time Thank you. Today.